One of the best known and most important books about the pioneer experience of the late 1800s is set in eastern South Dakota. I think it's uh, important from the standpoint that after his writing of Giants of the Earth, there were, there were no more novels about the pioneer experience that were written from a romantic standpoint because he told not only the hard parts, the tragedy of the, of the pioneer experience, but also the joy. And so it was a more realistic, finally a realistic uh, look at, at what those pioneers had to, had to face as they came to Dakota Territory and to America. Giants in the Earth tells the story of a Norwegian immigrant couple who come to Dakota Territory in the 1870s. Per Hansa and his wife Barrett are tested by the harshness and isolation of the prairie. They descend into a conflict that embodies the immigrant dilemma. A husband who looks west and a, and a wife who looks back east toward her home and her family. And she was filled with guilt uh, for many reasons. The husband works joyfully and proudly seeks a new and prosperous life. The wife is nearly consumed by loneliness and remorse. Her sadness only grows as she begins to realize that her children are of the new world, not the old. Ole Rolvog would have recognized the dilemma in his own life experience. He was born in 1876 on an island off the west coast of Norway. It was a very austere beginning, very poor beginning. And uh, he, uh, the education was such in those years you had went for three weeks, three times a year, for seven years, and then your education was over. And uh, so, but the family read and was in, had, had uh, many dis, uh, great discussions around the table, so that was a part of his background as well. He became a fisherman, and when he was up in the Loftalen Islands, in northern up near the Arctic Circle, there was a ma massive storm where many of his neighbors and friends died, and he almost died himself. And they're wondering if this isn't a part of what led to his, his early death at age 55. And so uh, he decided fishing was not for him. That's when he wrote his uncle, asking if he could send money for him to come, so he could come to, South, to, uh, to America. For three years, Rolvog worked on this farm in Union County, north of Elk Point. Once he'd earned enough money, he enrolled at Augustana Academy in Canton, a forerunner of today's Augustana University in Sioux Falls. Rolvog met Jenny Birdall at Augustana. They were married in 1908, and Ole Rolvog became a U.S. citizen. He continued his education and was awarded bachelor's and master's degrees at St. Olaf College in Northfield, Minnesota. Rolvog eventually accepted an appointment in the Norwegian Language and Literature Department. Rolvog continued to write and teach at St. Olaf until his death in November of 1931. Jenny Birdall Rolvog was born in 1878 in a sod house on a farm northeast of Sioux Falls. In 1883, 10 years after coming to the U.S. from Norway, Jenny's parents Andrew and Karen Birdall built this house. It was moved from its original location in the 1970s and restored. It's now a museum. Ole and Jenny Rolvog spent many hours here, and Ole got acquainted with the Birdall family's settlement stories. The Birdalls were among the first Norwegian immigrants to arrive in Dakota Territory. They'd come in a wagon train, by the way, in 1873 to near Gerritsen, South Dakota, an 11-covered wagon train. And as uh, and Andrew, his father-in-law, and his brother and sisters had, were filled with the stories of their coming in the wagon train on how it was to arrive in the, the snow, the locusts, and the grass, and the loneliness. And um, so he heard those stories, and this was very much a part of his writing. In fact, as he wrote, as he sat in the, in the Rovag writing cabin, his writing cabin in northern Minnesota, he was corresponding back and forth with his, with his wife, who was staying here in Sioux Falls with her, with her father as he was writing in 1923. And he was asking questions like, what about this? What about this? And so the, this correspondent went back and forth. So we know that many of the 
the stories of the of the wagon train that came to Dakota Territory are included in Giants of the Earth. Rolvog wrote the book in Norwegian and it was first published in Norway in two volumes in 1924 and 1925. The English translation was published in 1927. Giants in the Earth is the first book in a trilogy about the Hansa family's journey from being Norwegian immigrants to becoming Americans. None of Rolvog's other writings achieved the commercial success of Giants in the Earth. The Birdall Rolvog House, the Rolvog Writing Cabin, and other buildings in Heritage Park on the Augustana University campus in Sioux Falls are open for tours from June through August.